Take it away. Thank you. 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 Thank you
If changes to the charter are proposed, then we must follow the procedure indicated in the charter to make those changes. Elected officials must play by the rules, just as we expect our citizens to play by the rules. We are all governed by the rule of law, all of the time, not just when it's convenient. Community begins with involvement and representation of all sectors of our population. For too long, too few have been invited or encouraged to participate. Our city government should reflect our community not only in composition, but willingness to incorporate change for the greater good through increased collaboration and transparency. We need real communication, real involvement, and real change. Thank you. And now we will hear from Vivian Moreno. Um, my name is Vivian Moreno, and I just want to thank everybody for coming. The city of Riverside has not been responsible. And let me tell you what a decade the city has given the public. The city has a multi-billion dollar debt and it is growing. And who do you think is gonna pay for it? You and me. The establishment, the elite, and the special interests are going to ask you for more money. They are going to tell you that they have to raise your utility rates. They're not gonna ask, they're gonna tell you. And they are going to encourage you to vote for a $100 million bond issuance for more special interest spending, and that will raise your property taxes. You have to ask yourselves, what, how much more money are all of you willing to pay to keep these establishment candidates in office? Are you gonna be working three jobs? Are you gonna wait until your utility bill is as high as your house payment? The establishment candidates in Riverside have sold us out for campaign contributions. We call this the Mutual Admiration Society. That's when one hand washes the other for contracts, land, and all the giveaways the city has to offer. And then the public has to pay for the mistakes, the cost overruns, and wasteful spending. I am running for your mayor because this government has sold us out and failed the people of Riverside. The elected officials fail to recognize that we the people are in charge. Thank you very much. Thank you, Regina. And finally, the last opening statement from Councilman Paul Davis. Well, good evening, and thanks for coming. So far tonight, you've heard some candidates talk about their family legacy and how they are entitled to more than others just because they've been here longer. The mayor talked about the, the PE teacher that he is and claimed responsibility for all that is good in Riverside, cares about the council. While another raise will raise their voice, the others will appear to attack another. Gentlemen and ladies, this is part of the process. I am simply here to tell you the actions speak louder than words. So let's get down to the straight talk. And this is why we need to change the mayor. I'm running for mayor since in nearly three years I have seen our great city stagnate and growth due to lack of leadership, vision, action, and falling into downward sp uh, financial uh, spiral with lies and cover-ups and no solutions to the problem. Frankly, Bailey has done nothing above that he has said he has done. Nothing in his tenure as a councilman nor as a mayor has created solution or lasting relationships. No one person can tell me anything that Bailey himself has done to facilitate sustainable jobs or just do anything else other than hear what he has to say is be being a leader Right? Cheers, biking and walking and chill with children, it's all he does. No vision, no action. Residents hate the trolley to nowhere, already costing taxpayers more than $500,000 with another billion to be spent, and he doesn't care. Maybe believes he intimidates, believes in intimidation by arrest and, and certainly investigation, costing taxpayers nearly $1.2 million in his tenure in mayor. Take, for example, the lady he arrested for clapping, Sergeant Val Graham, he claimed that, made the claim against Bailey for interference and multiple investigations he instigated against myself, certainly my colleague, Clemson Super. How about the treatment of his employees, firing his assistant for reporting another counsel pulling a knife on him and then calling, uh, calling him out and having him terminated? And then 100% turnover within three years. We can keep going since I only have uh, just about 90 seconds more. Thank you very much, Councilman Davis.